<laughs> okay. Right before this started recording, there was a countdown. And even though it counted down from one to five, I still wasn't ready. Okay, so really quick. I know it's been a while since the last video. I've been busy. I've been, you know, living my life like it's golden and all that good stuff. But in the meantime, in between time, I've had things um, that I wanted to say. So I've been, you know, plotting and, and planning out more videos. And uh, I'm still in the throes of planning and trying to fit all of this, um, you know, into my already very busy schedule and full plate. But this letter that I'm about to read to you, it was so powerful. It got my attention because there's so many lessons in it, so many juicy and delicious lessons uh, to expose you to so many of the truths that um, I'm very passionate about, you know, freedom and truth and justice for all. And uh, this letter just so perfectly exemplifies that. And thank you so much, Catherine. I reached out to her uh, for permission to read this on this video, on this channel. And so, and she said, yes, of course, just um, thank you. You're a woman of high integrity. And I just, I'm just so proud to know you. So here goes um let me get into it i just have my clipboard here i just printed the letter uh really quick really short listen to these nuggets that she drops it says i'm announcing my resignation from whatever ties i have as a bar attorney effective july 4th 2019. This is being sent to Maureen O'Connor, who carries the title of Chief Justice of the Corporate Supreme Court of Ohio. Here is a copy and paste of the letter. I signed the original as a living human being, not as a corporation. And it has the addressee who was being sent to uh, Maureen O'Connor. Oh, what can I say that name? Maureen O'Connor, Chief Justice Supreme Court of Ohio. To all concerned, see, I'm reading. All right, this letter is for the purpose of publicly announcing that I am resigning as an attorney licensed to, and in quotations, practice law in the state of Ohio. No one is pressuring me to make this decision. I have no reason to believe there are any attorney disciplinary proceedings pending or being initiated against me. My decision is based solely on my own conscience and sense of ethics. I understand it to be irrevocable. Um, you guys, please forgive me. English is a second language to me, so a lot of the times you'll hear my tongue twist, but uh, work with me. All right, let's get back, in, back into it. As a follower of the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, I find I can no longer associate myself with those who have abandoned the pursuit of earthly justice in favor of money and power. In particular, I can no longer rationalize the legal system's increasing disregard of basic constitutional principles, such as the rights of us, the people, to not have our lives liberties and properties taken from us without due process of law, the right to bear arms without government approval, the right to be free of unreasonable searches and seizures, seizures, I can't say that word, and the multiple rights enshrined in the now increasingly ignored First Amendment. I took an oath to become an officer of the court and to support the Constitution, not corporate interests during a mass swearing in uh, ceremony in Columbus in the spring of 1977. I can no longer tolerate seeing that constitution be smirched by, by quote unquote courts at every level. In particular, I can no longer stomach the prospect of ever again working in a system that disregards plain meaning of both its own corporate statutes, it calls law, as well as the principles of higher jurisdictions of common law, the constitution and holy scripture. 
I cannot be a part of a system that exempts corporate judges from liability for crimes they commit against their fellow men, women, and children under color of law. Stump versus Sparkman, 435 U.S. 349, 1978. A system that condones pedophilia, State versus Mole, uh, 2016, Ohio, 5124. In regards to CP 131, Ohio, Ohio Street, no, that can't be Street, ST, I'm not sure the abbreviation, 3D 513, uh, 2012. A system that denies recovery of compensation for those whose lives are shattered by the well connected and the corporations. Arbino or Arbino, not sure if I'm saying that right, versus Johnson and Johnson, 2007, Ohio 6948. A system that destroys attorneys such as Richard Fine, who legitimately criticized quote unquote judges. Uh, a system, in short, that is very much bifurcated into one kind of justice for the wealthy and another very different one for the rest of us. The last straw for me occurred a few months ago when I finally began to learn about the giant hoax that has been per perpetrated against American people, a process that continues to be expedited by attorneys and judges. My previous belief that the judiciary was a, a branch of our constitutionality, oh Lord, of our constitutionally mandated republic was destroyed when I read former attorney Melvin Stamper's book, Fruit from a Poisonous Tree, and confirmed the truth of everything he disclosed and for which I could find documentation. What I now know and which is still concealed from most of the American people is that our quote unquote courts are private for-profit corporations that trade in on the churning of controversy for profit via systems such as the CRIS, which stands for Court Registry Investment System. The most nauseating features of this type of corporate uh, profiteering are not just the, multitude, the multiple frauds that support it, but the fact that it preys on the old, the young, and the disenfranchise of all races and genders. And it does so for dollars, or should I say, for Federal Reserve notes. Finally, I require that my name be stricken from the rolls of the Ohio Supreme Court due to my recent discovery that any retention by me of any title of nobility or honor, sick, as I see, such as attorney at law, esquire, or any version thereof may be prohib prohibited by the original 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which amendment was apparently ratified in Ohio in January 31st, 31, uh, 1811. Sincerely, all rights reserved, Catherine Hine. Um... I'm going to leave a link to, I guess, the original post where I found it online. And um, I just want to say that, you know, I've, you know, Catherine is, is brave. She's not the first. And I sincerely hope that she's not the last attorney that um, chose to, you know, go the, you know, with the, with her, with her morals rather than, um, you know, profiting off of the uh, suffering of others. But, um, you know, more importantly, that she, you know, was brave enough to put this information, this, this letter of resignation so publicly, um, you know, in her doing so, it's going to help so many others. Um, it got my attention and I'm hoping to help spread the word and get uh, more people to awake to um, the, the fraud and the nature of the fraud. And I'm hoping that you guys um, was able to see that. I mean, I could go on and on, but I'll just, you know, cut it right here. And uh, I'll be, you know, 
bring in some more videos and more lessons and more class. You know, guys, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a expert, not a guru. I, I love to research and I love to uncover the truth. I am very passionate about uh, freedom and freedom for all. I really believe in that. So, um, you know, that's that's what I'm here to discuss and share and uh, and network and build and grow together in 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 truth and knowledge of the truth. So, um, you know, that's I just had to bring that uh, before anything, any more time went by and I just kept being busy and I just carved this time out just to make make this video really, really quickly. So until um, the next video, I'll see you next time. Be safe out there. Bye.